I am Tikka. Hi, Tikka. Hi there. Welcome. Uh, one moment. Thank you. Tikka is a tall Liran working on the orbit. Muhashwahat. Mie. Dio. Fukusha. Oh, greetings. I am fine. I have come to tell you that Grukfiknir has a new member. Welcome. In the Galactic Society. Excellent. It is almost time to present them to you. It has been a while in writing the initial agreements and acceptances but we will now have a fifth species joining Grukfiknir that is our alliance with the Lyrans, Octorians, Pleiadians and Yigil. There will now be another species very shortly. They are soon to enter. We are excited because they are of like mind to us and are evolved in the sense that they are peaceful and want to help the human condition as well as the galactic condition which we also work on. Is there any questions? You still cannot name the species? Let me find out if it would be appropriate. I am allowed to tell you that it is a friendly reptilian species. Thank you. The name of this species will not be revealed until such time as appropriate. Can you describe them physically, what, how they look, which dimension they are? That would be like telling me and you who they are. <laughs> no, I will not. <laughs> All right. uh, are you, do you have any news from the colonies? Yes. Thank you. Thirteen telepaths in Colony 1, which is our main colony of growth. We are learning so much from the telepathic humans, mostly children, six of which are children. We now have six children and a teenager mm -hmm. and have learned that the thought processes from youth uh, to adolescence are sometimes very, very, very different. Yes. There is a time of rejection of all things that are logical, it would appear. They would rather live in an abstract world where they cannot possibly be harmed. Does this yes. make sense to you? Yes, it did yes, not make sense to us, but it is becoming more clear where that movement leads to adulthood. It becomes a melding of abstract and basic human need thoughts, which also translate into self-worth and uh, identity. Yes. Yes, 
That's a, even adults do that. I do that all the time. We wish we could understand you, Max. <laughs> <laughs> but you are too different at many different times. Yes. Your mind is much thought, but it is not molded in one direction. It is like a gaseous cloud. Yes. <laughs> high energy, high, brown, high temperature, brownian motion. Gaseous. Yes, and much <laughs> action. Don't light a match. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> well, Thank you. Uh, any news about the contacts? The contact is still pushed out to 2015 at this time with many things that have been, what is the word, assured that will happen, but there are many actions still to remain to be accepted by the Arcturian Council. Thank but you. humans will be part of human contact because they will be intercessory for aliens and they will not be under control of aliens. They will be in their own state of understanding which will make human kind more comfortable because they know us. I spoke yesterday to Zechariah, uh, to someone from Ashtar Command. Are you familiar with Ashtar Command, right? I am not associated, but I am familiar. So their message was that, uh, this one was from Sirius, and their, their message was that they are assigned, they're kind of having their ships around the Earth to protect the Earth from humans. Uh, so they have their loyalty to the to the planet, and their soul wise, they're connected to the planet. So if the humans decide they like humans, they want to help us, but but basically their loyalty to the planet. So if the humans decide to destroy the planet, they would rather destroy the humanity and save the planet than otherwise. That was the message. Yes. There are so many things I could say about this communication. They do care about the planet and the people on the planet, but they do not help the planet as much as they say. They are peaceful, they are loving, but they do not know how to help humanity more than small ways of keeping them out of historical destruction. Mm -hmm. They, like us, help humanity in any way that they feel is possible without interfering with history. This is difficult. We do everything we can to keep your history alive because we believe that keeping it alive in this particular dimension is most worthy. Thank you. Um, do you 